All right, everybody. Good evening. Ooh, what we got here, y'all? Because a dog kennel. There's something heavy up in this box. Or this bag. Oh, forgot to bring my blade, though. Very, very unscavenger like. What the heck's in here? What is that? Way so much. What is this? Legendary herbs, dietary supplement. <laughs> Legendary herbs. Ugh, it's full of them. Roduku, legendary herbs, nutmeg. Huh, Boulder, Colorado. Don't know. That one feels the same thing too. These bags are full of them. Asparagus, got asparagus. Nutmeg. Dirty food. Shampoo. Take the basket. Oh, I see something down in there. Maybe. Maybe. Let's... No, no. Bunch of plastic ish. Yeah, those bags are for dietary supplement stuff. I don't need to be going on no diet. Ooh, gross. Shouldn't be tossing them out. Let's see here. Just what? Grab them suckers. Oh, those aren't even metal either. Man. All right, basket and kennel. Let's get it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. His printer is with a, a keypad. No, this is my computer dumpster, but she's, there goes some more. See anything up in there? Anything very anything good? Oh, I don't really see nothing. Lots of printers. Ooh, they got some wires. Like a bag of wires. Oh, there goes another big old bag full of wires. Yep, there goes another one. All right, I'll definitely take that. I don't see no pooters. Ugh, you know, awesome. Bunch of cardboard boxes. These printers, which we find all the time. You know what they got on to me about like leaving a mess? Every time I roll up in here, it's like this place is a dump. Straight up dump. Like they leave it worse than I do. Well, I mean like I don't leave it. I don't leave it bad. I clean up bad than myself. But this is the place to get the bubble wrap. Whenever I need bubble wrap, I know where to come. And this is it. <laughs> we'll give him a little hand. <sighs> Too bad, man. Printers, they just... <sighs> Uh-oh. Somebody broke a window. It's got some aluminum on it, though. Well, if I had a trash can or a, a broom and a dustpan, I'd pick that up, but I didn't break it. I didn't break it. I just picked up what I could. Ooh, check it out. There goes a little water heater. Oh, open that sucker up. Hop in, y'all. The water's fine.
the nasty. Get that puppy. Got the pop off valve on it. Ooh. Oh, there's some less than cool looking stuff coming out of it. Oh. It looked like diarrhea or vomit or something. Ooh. Oh, jeez, it's starting to rain. Oh, man. Always happens this way. Doing me wrong, baby. Oh, please don't rain. Please don't rain. Don't rain on my parade. I see some power, of course. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Let's see here. Uh, saw a couple of power cords. Over here, let's see if we got anything back here. Got an office chair. Off chain and marine you. Alright, this is a power cord or something. Alright. Some little breathing things. I decided to just keep picking those up. There's another one of them bags. It's got the charger in it. Grab that sucker. This. Yeah, these, these little machines, and that goes in there, like that. But, yeah, I'm kinda, I'm gonna stay away from those. Let's see here. All right, I brought my drill. Probably could've got the base off that chair, but, oh well, it is what it is. Let's see. Yeah, we got some chargers in a bag. Throw the bag up front. Still got the tag on it. God, these guys throw them out like crazy. Phew. Yo, 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 dumpster. Ooh, we got stuff in here. Look at that. It's a box full of Legos. Let's see what we got here. Look, I see a big old box. Full of Legos. Right, just trying not to dump them everywhere. Holy cow! Legos. I've been told time and time again, Legos. Legos are money, baby. Ugh. Legos. Right. What is this? NASCAR four pack ball ornaments. Let's see here. Let's see that back over here. Look at that! Brand new clothes. Lots of NASCAR stuff. What is this? Bears and hairs you can trust. Blade on me, but that box is full of whatever's in those boxes. So, let's go ahead and toss that over the side. Uh, we'll check it out. Uh, very unscavenger like. Oh my gosh, look at all these toys! There's a whole dish set. Uh, we got a dish set. Things full of toys and clothes. Oh, we got some stuff to go through. There's a little scrap back there. Some Christmas decor. It's a little late for that, but. Uh, Looks like somebody cleaned out a kitchen. Uh, 
bathroom stuff. Set that right there. I'm curious about these toys. God. We have to find us a box. Let's see what's in this box. It's full of NASCAR toys. Oh my god. Look at all these toys. Need another box here. NASCAR toys. NASCAR cars. NASCAR stuff. A whole collection. Like this is somebody's, this is somebody's collection. Oh, we got toys. Oof. Plaques, cards, cars. This is nuts. Diecast cars. There's a helmet. Oh my goodness gracious, y'all. A Pez dispenser. Ah, there's some Pez in there, though. There's some cards. Check that out. Christmas stockings. NASCAR! Daryl Earnhardt. This stuff's worth money, y'all. <sighs> like, big money, probably. <sighs> Gotta go find a big box for this stuff. There's some Christmas lights. Take the Christmas lights. All these toys. <sighs> oh my gosh. Hopefully it doesn't start raining on me. That guy. There's a tape gun. Always welcome the tape gun. These toys. Holy cow, who throws this stuff out? stabler <laughs> they work at a restaurant they go through staplers like crazy with the to-go department there goes another stapler another stapler yeah, let's grab that. there's a drive Baby, we got some stuff to go through. Some more drives. Down here. Wow. Look at this box. Four t shirts. I like t shirts, especially the free kind. It's all those paper clips. This is bananas! More NASCAR stuff. Try to be careful with it as best we can. Oh, there's the Pez dispenser. Cars. Then I have to go find me a big tote, put all this stuff in. Ugh. It's Christmas decorations. Christmas ornaments. They're best at going garage sale stuff. There's glasses. All right, it's a garage sale kind of night. 
some hats. Hollywood Park Fire Rescue. I'll be part of the fire rescue team. All right. There's a, a tree in there. Should we grab it? Most of those trees you can scrap out as is because they have metal bases and such. Wow, guys, that's crazy. There's more stuff. Collector's cards. Toy. Holy. Holy cow. This may, have, this may be the mother load. This may be the absolute mother load. Uh, I'm not the hugest of NASCAR fans, but I know this stuff uh, is worth money. What we got here? Beanie Babies. Oh my gosh. Got Beanie Babies. Yeah. Some more toys. This car keeps passing by. We might be getting out of here pretty quick. That's fine, I think we got it all. Yeah, I think we got it all. Are they cleaning out an office? Mailbox, shipping boxes. Right. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah. All right, wire. I gotta lie, that last dumpster, that may be one for the book. People ask me what's the craziest thing or the coolest thing you ever found. That dumpster, probably right up. I don't even know what's all in it. Get this cat wire. It's a cat six. It's a little in there. Right. Oh, a little more than I thought. All, right. all good things. All right. Yep. Bunch more right there. Meow. Cat wire. Uh oh. Let's go over the top. Hopefully it doesn't like start raining, raining because we might have to call it short. If the rain starts coming, because I don't want these toys getting wet, man. These are de they're definitely collectible, so most definitely collectible. Get this spool over here. Oh, there's stuff over here. Ah, it doesn't look like computers. It's like the bases to computers. Yeah, we'll take those though. They still got scrap value. HP bases. Let's grab this suck over here. Man, we've managed to get all this without having to get in, but here we go. There's something in here. Oh, those are batteries. <sighs> Shot battery. All right. Yeah, I'm more cat wire. Get it off of my reel. Get it off of my reel. For real. All right. Don't forget the stick. Dude, tonight's shaping up to be pretty awesome. Not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. Y'all can be throwing tires. Should say right somewhere. Usually says no tires, no batteries. Uh, Y'all see anything? 
I don't really see nothing. Let's take a look though. Bunch of tags. Let's see here. This office file is such. Ay, ay, ay. All right. Well, thought we might have found something in here. We usually do, but. <laughs> Not tonight. All right, we're gonna roll up the dumpster. We've been finding those lights. It looks like there's more lights in there. Oh my gosh. This is day four. Day four. Surely by now they've uh, replaced all of their lights. <sighs> I mean, surely, but hopefully they didn't because I could just keep coming back and get more of these lights. Oh, people are asking me about like, what I've been doing with these lights as I've been finding them. And, uh, uh, you know, talk about field stripping them and stuff. Scrap prices are so, so good right now. So good right now that I'm just. I've been taking these to the scrapyard and tossing them out as is. You know, I know that there's a you know, ballast and a little bit of wire in there, but I mean, the last go around, the last two go arounds, you know, just the lights alone, it's been about 80 bucks in scrap. Ugh. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that, you know, some people, some, some people may want to break them apart and I try to get out what I can at the scrapyard, you know, but uh, it's got all these bulbs in them and stuff and it's so much easier just to throw them right out the back of the truck. Cause like I said, scrap prices, oh, they're so good right now. You almost don't even have to break this stuff apart. Get the micro scrap. Right, let's see here. But yeah, I'm gonna put all these up at the front and try not to crush the. Uh, well, I'm not. I am not crushing those those toys or the. I mean, do, you, do they call them toys? Or collectibles? I like the term collectible. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna stick all these up at the front. I got all, all the good stuff towards the back. I got the gate up there, so. Scrap and resellables. We got it. We got them. Most definitely got them. I like how they put a little thing there. It's like people aren't supposed to be in the dumpsters, but they put a little thing for people in the dumpsters. They can open the door. All right. Watch your head. Watch your head. Whew. Oh, no lights in this one, though. Let's see here. Oh. Nothing. No, no. That's a good box, though. <sighs> yes, sir. More lights, more scrap. I don't need all that though. Woo! Alrighty, 
Three Scavengers, a very, very, very successful evening getting some stuff out there in the urban jungle. I've been up all morning just setting up, going through all my new toys. It's pretty cool. Not really a big NASCAR fan, but I do know of NASCAR and I do know of all of these people that, uh, you know, we've got over here. But we'll get to that here in a second. We'll just kind of work our way around. Got everything laid out. Uh, pretty awesome. Uh, this tote that we found full of all these clothes. From what I can see, these are all brand new. Uh, Cuba Vera, Destinations, and they're all large in XL, which is sizes that I wear. But I mean, just full of dress shirts. Most of these are these, uh, they're called Port Authority. But I'm definitely going to be able to go through some of this and get some stuff out. You definitely have some clothes for sure. See South Padre Island. Got the blue shirt here. Committee. American Cancer Society. Blessed girl. <laughs> I support that. But uh, yeah, just like lots of clothes, lots of, lots of dress shirts. And I mean, if you look at these, like look at them. Tri Mountain. Tri Mountain, they're all brand new. All brand new. Large and XL. Like this thing's full of them. Just full of brand new shirts. Purple's really not my color, you know, but that is really cool right there to find brand new clothes there. Over here, we've got our hats. And then a box full of, uh... oh, there's some more cards. <sighs> Dude, uh, box full of t-shirts. The Woodlands Fire Rescue. All different sizes. There's a 2X. And it's the 5, 5.11 5 Tactical. Yeah, there's a large 2X. There's probably all different sizes here. So, definitely got some t-shirts for sure there. Here's those dishes we found. They look like, uh, yeah, they're all, they're Christmas dishes. We can build a snowman. This is some stoneware dishes. Looks like a whole plate set. And then there's more of them there. It says the same thing, we can build a snowman. So, uh, definitely got some resale value there. Uh, Christmas balls. Leaving these for you to put on tree. Definite garage sale stuff. Some little stockings, Christmas decorations, garage sale stuff, these mugs, I was kind of going through them. This one's really cool. It doesn't really have like a maker's mark or anything on it, but it's got the eagle. Like, like that's how you drink, buddy. And then this guy, it says K-A-Y-E-6-8. Got a drunk dude. What's this says? Spirit and all alone, but I'm good. Okay. Let's see this one right here. These are like beer steins, right? Hangmo. I can't read that, man. Yeah, these are like beer steins. I'm guessing that's what those are. Those are pretty cool. These came in the same box. Uh, Excalibur, Las Vegas Hotel and Casino. Probably not a whole lot of value there. Uh, Grand Ole Opry, Nashville, Tennessee. These are just like little souvenir mugs. S-E-Y-E-I, I don't know. Looks like some sort of uh, like a, a brand or a, whatever you call it, like the Knights would wear. Like their, their colors, their symbols. A uh, uh, couple big old bags full of paintballs. 500 paintballs, so we got a thousand count paintballs right here. A really awesome VCR co-pilot. The fastest, easiest way to record your TV show. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, a couple of drives over here. And then the, uh, the little bear collection. I was kind of going through them. Uh, this one was in here. Flash McBear. 
in the sitting. I'm guessing this is a collection of, uh, I've never heard of bearware, uh, but I'm guessing there's, this is the, uh, the collection of bears. But yeah, all these are full and they're just these little, these little bears. I have a neighbor, she'd probably get a big old kick out of these. But yeah, these are all full and they've got a little card in them. The Boyd's Collection, Limited. Antique Reproductions and Collectibles. The Bear Stone Collection. So I don't know how big the Bear Stone Collection is, but we've got some big ones. Let's see. Some big ones, folks, shizzle. This is, welcome friends. Always room for two more. Believe. It's like a, is that a house or a boat? I don't know, I don't know, it looks like a boat. Very cool, very cool. Somebody's little bears and hares collection. So, y'all let me know on that if there's any value to this at all. But like I said, I have a neighbor. She's kind of, she's kind of into that sort of stuff. So maybe she'd be interested in it. Uh, got our uh, Legos over here. This box is just absolutely full, 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 full of Legos. And these could be sold by the pound. The last go around, I had found some in a video. Someone had told me that. And sure enough, you can go online. Legos could be sold by the pound. And there are probably five, ten pounds of Legos right there. Legos, awesome, awesome stuff. Moving along, Beanie Babies. A whole box full of Beanie Babies. I don't know anything about Beanie Babies. But there are some in here. Tags and such. I mean, I hear some of them can be pretty valuable. But for the most part, I don't believe that they're, like, super, super valuable. I personally have never met a Beanie Baby collector. Got some old toys here. Remember this? The Rugrats. Oh, somebody's hair. Yuck. This is a Burger King Happy Meal toy. But yeah, Rugrats. Let me see. Oh no! Hit me on the hip, Big City Paging. The light comes on. <laughs> I used to have a pager and if y'all don't know what a pager is you're pretty young alright I had a pager right before I got my uh, Prime Co cell phone this is a Time Warner I don't recognize this is that Richie Rich huh Let's see, there's some little cars in there yeah, it just looks like Happy Meal type toy stuff. The pager is pretty cool. But yeah, got our Beanie Babies. Found these couple of drives in the one dumpster. Nothing. I mean, those are floppy drives, so whatever. But anyways, let's move it on along here to my, uh, my set of stuff. We'll go ahead. We'll start off down here and just work our way over here. Got these uh, stockings right here. Jeff Gordon, Tony Stewart. Uh, Christmas stockings, little NASCAR balls, looks like number 24, Jeff Gordon. Uh, got a ton of literature over here, looks like uh, most of it around the time that uh, Dale Earnhardt passed away, 2001 I believe, yeah, 95, 1951 to 2001, so we've got books, magazines, literature, all kinds of stuff. And it's the there is an address on some of these, and it looks like this stuff was from Dallas. This came out of Dallas, so I don't know if somebody just kind of came into like somebody's collection and just didn't know what to do with it and didn't want it and tossed it out. Hopefully, it's not stolen. I hope it's not stolen. Uh, these are magnets, I think. So, you know, put those on the fridge, I guess. Uh, little NASCAR activity tablet. For coloring, you know the kiddos can color. 2002. Got some DVDs over here. Shifting gears. Dale. Daytona. Greatest race races collector series. 
all unopened. Got a koozie there. Here's some uh, Jeff Gordon. These are mini calendars. 2004. And I'm guessing I see a 2009 on here. So a little mini calendars. Just collector stuff. Uh, we got a uh, Race Cards Max 1993 edition. Complete set of 300 full color trading cards featuring your favorite NASCAR stars. Still in the packaging. Pretty cool. Uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. It says it's a motorized car. Oh, and this is like the charger for it? Charge car in 30 seconds. Huh. Huh. The little gas cans with the little charger. I guess you put batteries in there. That's cool. Got us a little plate here. Plate number 2341, the Hamilton Collection, 97. That seemed to, we seem to make make it happen there. Some Christmas de de decorations right here. Definitely got some more Christmas decorations over there for sure. But yeah, some NASCAR stuff. Little Santa Claus in his NASCAR outfit. So we got a picture album. Happy St. Patty's Day. There's no pictures in it. Uh, Earnhardt Jr. Got another, I guess that goes on the tree. The boot. Uh, we got a book here full of, uh, full of cards. Trading cards. I didn't really know that there's still a market for trading cards. I didn't even know people actually still collected cards. I have a ton of old baseball cards that, uh, you know, I was going to, it's going to be my retirement one day, but nobody really collects those anymore. But this is cool, you know. A lot of the, the same people, too. Kevin Maverick, Jeff Gordon. Jimmy Johnson, Kurt Busch, Dale Jarrett, Bobby Labonte, there's more Bobby Labonte, Jamie McMurray, there's a Rookie of the Year card, Matt Kinseth, a bunch of Matt Kinseth, Ricky Rudd, Ryan Newman, Dale Earnhardt Jr., more Dale Earnhardt Jr., Rusty Wallace, more Rusty Wallace. Yeah, so this thing is like chock packed full of like just cool stuff. Definitely, definitely cool stuff. Uh, hanging air fresheners probably don't smell no good no more. Got a Dale Earnhardt Jr., Victory Lane. It says limited edition of a thousand. I don't see an autograph on it though. So I don't know. Dale Earnhardt, there's a few uh, cards here. This one does look like it's got, let me see here. I can't tell, I don't I don't think that's a real autograph. It just looks like a uh, uh, reproduction there. Oop, that thing's falling apart. Like a little stamp or whatever. Tons of playing cards. This right here, two decks of playing cards. That's gonna be the same. Playing cards, Jeff Gordon, Dale Earnhardt, playing cards. Uh, this seems pretty cool. The Petty Family Racing Collection, 50 collectible cards plus one pro set racing game piece. Still in the package. Uh, I'm guessing this kind of goes with it. The pro set racing gets official Petty Family Racing Collection, 50 plus one pro game piece. Limited printing. I mean, it looks a little bit older. Something kind of got a, looks like something kind of gnawed on it. It's probably sitting up in storage somewhere. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Still unopened in the packaging. Uh, all these 92 Winston Cup racing cards. Still in the package. Got those there. Those are our playing cards. We got a ping pong paddle over here. I don't know what this is. It doesn't really say it's heavy. Is that just like a little plaque or something? Like a, an impression? I don't know. But it's heavy. Heavy like cement almost. Uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Figurine over here. We've got some... Uh, Pins, Windcraft Racing, California Speedway pin set, limited edition, 250 of a thousand. So we got some more Dale Earnhardt 
cards. Those may be, I guess, a little bit nicer because they seem to have put them in a little plaque, but who knows? It's all Dale Earnhardt, Dale Earnhardt, Dale Earnhardt. I guess Dale Earnhardt was the absolute king of NASCAR. I was reading in one of these things, though, that when the guys would come in, like, uh, for the new season, like, he was the one to beat, so... Like I said, like, I didn't really watch a whole lot of NASCAR, but being from somewhat of the South, I knew plenty about NASCAR, and I've heard plenty about NASCAR, and I've heard of just about all of these people that we come across. I mean, Jeff Gordon, Earnhardt, Earnhardt Jr., I mean, easy, easy, easy. Uh, I've got a little, uh, little light switch cover plate, Jeff Gordon. More little toys there. Hot Wheels, I guess. It says Winter Circle. All this over here is Winter Circle stuff. Uh, some of it looks a little bit older. Yeah, Gordon Earnhardt Jr. This one looks old. Dale Earnhardt. This is, says 82 Wrangler Thunderbird. 82. But I mean, is this from 82? That's the thing. That looks like the oldest of them. And then these guys right here. Little display. Yeah, I guess these were definitely not to be like taken out of the package. Just collectors and stuff. Jeff Gordon. Gordon, Gordon. More winter circle stuff. Winter circle stuff. Race car. I did find the uh the the Pez dispenser for the one Pez pack, so we got that in there. Those are the little Pez there. Got a little sun catcher with a little paint. Probably They'll be painting that stuff. Yeah, here. This one looks a little bit older too. Ernie Irvin. Ernie. Ernie Irvin. Okay. Uh, did it, and then back here, I'm not sure what those are. It says includes framed art in a 164 scale car. So I guess that's just a little art back here. You got a Bobby Hamilton, Jeff Gordon, Mike Skidder. There's uh, Jeff Green. All in the packaging. These are going to be our Christmas ornaments. There's Bobby Labonte. Jeff Gordon. That's a clear, clear car. That's pretty cool right there. Uh, we got the hood here, the hood here. Those are all Christmas ornaments. Christmas ornaments. I think these are all going to be Christmas. Yep, Christmas ornaments. That's a bobblehead. Richard Petty bobblehead. Uh, I've got a box of tissues back here. The tissue box unopened. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Jamie McMurray, 2003 Intrepid Elite. It's a. Uh, it's one of 1,000 and number one of 1,012. So I guess that. I mean, does it mean anything if it's the number one of 1,012? Let's see here. I mean, it's the first one to be produced. That's pretty cool. That's very cool, especially that it's number one of 1,012. There's that 1,012 is not a lot, that's for sure. Uh, back here, this is actually pretty cool. The box is in pretty bad shape, so we got to be a little bit careful with it. But it's a uh, it's a Jeff Gordon uh, driver phone. The top comes off, and apparently it beep beeps when it rings. But yeah, there's a little NASCAR. I mean, it's a phone. It's a it's a car phone, like a literally a phone that's a car. That's cool. Uh, got the little Hot Wheels back here. David, was it say David Ru Rudiman? This one doesn't have a name on it. Z14 Houston. Uh, Michael Waltrip, 21. That one feels a little heavy. NASCAR Classics. The older looking NASCAR for sure. Jeff Gordon. Got some, uh, we got a $1 bill with Dale Earnhardt's face on it, which is pretty cool. So this is 2001. This is a NASCAR. I think there's cookies in there. 
It says something about cookies and nutritional information. There's a couple of mugs. That's cool. Uh, see, and then back here, it's a 124 scale die cast stock car display case with cover metal body, template opening hood, realistic engine, detailed interior, opening roof flaps, metal wheel rims, removable wheels, opening trunk. Number 10 on the Tide car, Ricky. I can't read that. But it's in there. And it says it's number one of 5,000. It's definitely in there. I don't want to open it up just because. But yeah, there's a car in there. I can definitely feel it. Ah, number one of 5,000. So we got two items that are number ones of the series. I think that, it, you know, warrants something pretty awesome for sure. Something, something pretty awesome. So... I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this stuff. There's a guy down the street that they uh, they do cards, comics, toys, stuff like that. Maybe bring it over there, have him take a pass at it. I'll contact my uncle. He's God, my uncle. He's got the biggest. He's the got the biggest collection of collectibles and toys and stuff. He's got this two story house, four bedrooms, every single bedroom in the home. I'm talking the living room, the dining room, the even the kitchen, all but like his bedroom. It's like just. There's just stuff on the walls. And then upstairs, like in the bedrooms, it's just floor to ceiling, just toys and, and collectible stuff like this, all in the packaging. He started collecting back in the 80s. So he's got a huge collection. Trying to get him to let me come over and like, you know, show it off because like, I mean, it's amazing. You guys would get the biggest crazy kick out of it. But uh, I don't know, maybe contact him and see if he knows somebody interested in this stuff. I mean, if you guys are interested, I don't know, let me know. Serious inquiries only though. I mean, I know a lot, you know, times are tough. People are on budgets and stuff, but I mean, it's gotta be worth my while as well. You know, I can't just give stuff away. So, but I mean, you know, y'all can definitely let me know. We got some tins here. There's no car in there though. The car's missing. The Oreo cookie tin. It's missing cars though. Just the tins. That's a tin. There's another one, little guy right there. We got Dale Earnhardt personal note cube. <laughs> like, bananas, 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 bananas. Like the amount of stuff, like just collectible stuff. Very cool, very, very cool. And like I said, I hope it's not stolen. And it's a total bummer if it's that, you know, like say somebody passed away and then, you know, their kids kind of came into it. And then it's like, what do we do with it? Just throw it away. So, but luckily Mike was there to, uh, to get it. Uh, as y'all can see, it's kind of wet and gross outside today, and these would have surely been, you know, damaged and ruined, and, you know, but we saved them. We saved them. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got all those uh, uh, paper clips, too. I found this also in the box. I thought y'all might want to, thought y'all get a kick out of it, uh, like an email, and there's a picture. It says Tuesday, February 27, 2001. I am vacationing in Florida from Los Angeles while driving south on A1A in Daytona Beach, just a few miles north of Ponce Inlet. I spotted the Titan rocket launch from Cape Canaveral. I snapped a quick picture of the vapor trail at 4.21 p.m. 15 minutes later, I was photographing the lighthouse at Ponce Inlet. That's when I spotted a giant three inch or a giant three in the sky. Most of the vapor trail from the rocket has dissipated and only the three remain. A perfectly formed three. I shot the first fir first photo of the three at 4.36 p.m. Brent Reeves. As yep, so look at that. There's a three in the sky. I'm guessing this is right after he uh, passed away. Right after Dale Earnhardt passed. Totally tragic. And from what I, what I even recall, it's like he didn't even really hit the wall that hard, you know? I mean, I know he hit the wall but it was one of those that like people have walked away from way worse crashes. But I mean, that just goes to show you, you know, like you just, you, you hit something right, dude. And uh, that's all it takes and boom, you're gone. Just like that. Totally tragic, sad, but hey, he died doing what he loved. And that's all that we can all, that's all, that's all we can ask for right there. To die doing what we absolutely love the most. But anyways, guys, Y'all let me know on any of this stuff if y'all are interested, you know, uh, like I said, serious inquiries only. Uh, but yeah, 
that's going to do it on this one, guys. I appreciate y'all tagging along. As always, it was an absolute total pleasure. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel. Extra special shout out to everybody that bought some merch. Appreciate that, guys. If y'all are interested down below Teespring, get y'all some stuff. Uh, help support the scavenger. Uh, I've got some work to do. i got to start putting this stuff back up. Mama's going to be home pretty soon. Uh, she, she's she got this furniture she wants to get working on and she can't be doing it with all my crap laid out everywhere so gotta get the stuff boxed up uh, treat it right and uh, yeah so uh, we're gonna try to get back at it hopefully tomorrow if the, the weather holds out and uh, you know get that scrap I mean we got a little bit of scrap in the back of the truck uh, but you know <sighs> yeah very very successful evening these are the these are the ones i like the most but they're also the ones that can drive you nuts because you end up with so much stuff like whereas with the scrapyard you could just you know you got a truck full of stuff go to the scrapyard boom it's gone but like this stuff you have to actually gotta take care of catalog um store it until you can you know find someone to buy this stuff but anyways alrighty guys y'all take care be safe wash your hands cover your face yada 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 peace what we got here y'all Scrappy, scrappy, scrappy! Oh!